What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and welcome to another pair of zombie top 5 plays. Not sure how often I'll be able to do these with the current limited access to the games, but I'll try my best. A few returning faces this week, mainly because they're just that damned good. I'll have all the submitters YouTube or Twitch channels linked in the video description below if you want to check them out, but I do want to remind you that you do not have to be a creator to make it on the show. This is the order I put the plays in last week, and this is the order that you guys scored them in in my poll. I'll have a poll up tomorrow for this week's plays. If you have a play or if you know a good play that you think should be featured, let me know in the comments or on my Discord. I had a very difficult time deciding the order this time around. At number 5 we have Jake Sim on Twin Blast. He's uh, defending the Bellica, landed a couple shots on Narbash, but oh no, here comes Steel and Narbash, the CC monster is trying to gobble him up. He's going to try and get away, jumps off the ledge and BOOM! Rocket Boost right back! The classic! The classic Twin Blast Juke. Good to see. Good to see. <laughs> I told you, dude, I'm out. Coming in at number four, we have McKinchy on Gideon. He's surveying the jungle. He sees the enemy Gideon trying to back. Lands a Cosmic Rift and a Burden and some auto attacks. Lots of damage all at once. The enemy Gideon does have any mana, but the enemy team is there. And McKinchy's able to portal out safely. He didn't want none of that, and I don't blame him. But he's going to come back in and he sees all three members <laughs> trying to back at once. Another lazy back attempt and he punishes the hell out of it. He's going to finally get this Gideon kill that he wanted in the first place. And now Narbash is all by himself, surrounded by members of the friendly team. And he's got, he's very low on mana too. They're going to pursue him down. And that's a double kill off the back of a very lazy back. <laughs> Coming in at number three, we got Foolish Lunatic on Rampage. He's got that rock out. He's lining up. Lands it on the Twin Blast. Fingmal immediately follows up. He's pursuing the TB. Is he going to get him? The Earth Shatter takes him down. Belica is up next. Rock right in her face from the ultimate. That's got to hurt. Now Rampage is going to clear out the Void Drone. Belica is still hanging in there. Defending her tower. Fingmal takes a couple tower shots here. Belka sees her opportunity, but she gets, <laughs> takes a rock to the face once again. She's going to try and chase Fingmal down. Does not quite get the kill. What she does get is another rock in the mouth. She's eaten so many rocks here. She's going to try and back up and defend this tower. Another rock might kill her. Rampage is looking for it. He's got the rock out. He throws it, and it lands. She's going to be shitting gravel tomorrow, but she is not dead yet. Rampage clearing out this wave. Oh, Bellica's trying to back. She's trying to TP behind the tower. The rock comes out, and it's good! The Rampage lands the rock right before she can back. If you haven't played, played Over Prime and played Rampage on Over Prime specifically, those boulders are incredibly difficult to hit. If they touch a blade of grass, they explode. At number two, we got Cranky Trash Can on Gideon waiting for the perfect moment. Enemy Gideon is channeling the black hole. He's going to wait for that to be over. Jumps over the top. Starts deleting people with his ultimate black hole. Huge. And then, oh my god, that Cosmic Rift took out three people at once, it looked like. Holy crap. What a great play. He just completely deleted the enemy team all in one go there. At number one, we have Reverb on Countess dashing into Gideon. Doing Countess things, stabbing him. In the skull, takes him out, and then zerps right back up to the ledge. But oh no, Kwong is waiting for her with the red buff. They're duking it out here. She might be in a lot of trouble. However, watch this. Wait, wait. She shadow slips and dodges his ability, and then shadow slips again to dodge the ultimate. Holy shit, that took an amazing amount of patience and precision. And then to add injury to insult, she gets the kill. She takes him out. I. I didn't want to put Reverb as the number one play two weeks in a row, but I mean, that was, I, I suck on Countess, but seeing a good Countess like that, that uses Shadow Slip so effectively is just so impressive to me. I had to give him the top spot. Let me know, guys, let me, uh, let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed it. Be on the lookout for the top five polls so you can give your input on which play you think deserved the number one spot. Hopefully this series will really kick into gear when more people are able to play. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. For now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!